In other videos, we use delta S universe to determine if a reaction was product favored or reactant favored. We could also use the change in Gibbs free energy or delta G to determine if the reaction is product or reactant favored. A negative delta G is associated with a product favored reaction. Unlike delta S universe, a positive delta S universe is associated with a product favored reaction. A positive delta G, on the other hand, is associated with a reactant favored reaction, and a negative delta S universe is associated with a reactant favored reaction. Here we're given a reaction between sodium and water. Calculate the free energy change in kilojoules for the reaction of 2.11 moles of sodium at 262 Kelvin, one atmosphere. The delta H for the reaction is negative 368.6 kilojoules, and the delta S is negative 15.3 joules per Kelvin. Just pay attention to the units here. Uh, we're asked to calculate uh, the change in free energy in kilojoules, which is a customary unit for delta G. So we need to remember that our delta S is given in the units of joules per Kelvin. We could also make the assumption that delta S and delta H are independent of temperature. We're going to use free energy equation delta G reaction equals delta H reaction minus T delta S reaction. Sometimes the reaction is called the system, and I mentioned that in the previous video. just want to remind you of that. So we substitute the numbers in, we get a delta G of negative 364 kilojoules. Notice the conversion of joules to kilojoules in the delta S term right here. Specifically, for 2.11 moles of sodium, we need to calculate the delta G. We would anticipate the value of delta G for the 2.11 moles of sodium to be slightly more negative than negative 364.6 because the negative 364.6 is for 2 moles of sodium. Here we calculate the delta G for 2.11. We would expect negative 385 is slightly more negative than negative 364. Because delta G is negative or less than zero, the reaction is product favored. Here we are asked to calculate delta H for this reaction. We are given delta G as negative 101.4 kilojoules, delta S as negative 284.8 joules, at a temperature of 261 Kelvin in one atmosphere. Now we already know delta G and it's negative so we can conclude that the reaction is spontaneous or product favored. We're asked to calculate delta H in kilojoules. We're going to use this equation and do some algebraic rearranging to determine delta H. After substituting the values into this rearranged equation we have a delta H of negative 176 kilojoules. We are also asked to calculate the standard enthalpy change for 2.45 moles of HCl that react. The negative 176 kilojoules for delta H is associated with this equation. This equation has one mole of HCl, one mole of NH3, and one mole of ammonium chloride. We are also asked to calculate the delta H for 2.45 moles of HCl that react. We can anticipate that our answer for delta H for 2.45 moles is going to be much more negative than 176, more than double negative. And we solve for delta H given 2.45 moles using this setup, and we come up with negative 431 kilojoules.